I shouldn't be here. No, I'm telling you, we can't get the pizza place to deliver down here anymore. The hellhound bit the delivery guy last time. We're blacklisted. Hold on, I got a soul, I gotta go. As I said before, there's been a mistake and I shouldn't be down here. I need to go topside, I'm a Christian. Hi, Linda, I was wondering when you'd show up. Um, by the way, God doesn't make mistakes, so you're in the right spot. No, because see, I'm not a filthy sinner. Clearly, you're in the right spot if you ended up in hell. I'm gonna stop you right there, because see, I live topside, I just like volunteering down here. What? Yeah, I have a place topside. Carrie Fisher's my neighbor, actually. But I like spending a lot of time down here just because, you know, I get to mouth off to morons all day. The commute got a lot more fun. What's an old Nas? Got the pool put in. And they've got a really great dungeon down here. This is so wrong. My pastor told me exactly the type of people who would get into heaven and the type of people who would go to hell. Oh, your pastor, John Paul Luke? Yeah, he's going to be a part of our annual beat the shit out of a pedophile night we're hosting next week. I'm having a bitch of a time getting that catered. Pastor John Paul Luke is a good Christian man. He would never condone beating someone up. Huh. Let me put it to you this way. He will be playing the role of the pinata and not the birthday boy. Shut up. It is people like you that are reason Lucy is so stressed and he can't even take time off to go to poker night. I just don't know why I'm here. I stood up for everything that was good in this world. If you say rich white people. I supported our church leaders. Ah, uh, yes, at God is King Mega Church. I'm familiar with them. They're down the hall on the left supported the side of our government that believed in what God taught. Uh, to get to the politicians, you're going to want to take those stairs on your right and go down and just keep going down. You'll know when you get there. Hypocrisy has a smell. I stood up against the gay agenda. I never did get the memo for what that was. I just kind of made it up as I went. Um, side note, not a sin. What are you talking about? Of course gays go to hell. Here comes one now. Oh, um, hi. Anquibel. You're not supposed to be here, huh? I know. I just wanted, can I pet the dogs? Yeah, it's actually your lucky day. They're at the doggy park with Cerberus. Um, so you're gonna wanna head back down that hall. Thanks. Bye, Uncle Bill. Hey, baby. Yeah, I've got a moron for you to take to the Texas section. Help desk, what do you want? Demon. Linda, you're gonna be down here for a while. You might as well use my name. I will not. And as I told you before, this is all one big mistake. Oh, I can't wait to hear this one. Make it good and I'll add it to the wall of excuses we have going. Well, obviously, since there's a heaven and a hell, that means the Christians were right, which means that I was right, so I demand to be taken to heaven. Oh my gods, do none of you read the admissions paperwork? I knew we should have used more pictures than that. Your paperwork doesn't apply to me now. Get me out of here. It's hot. You're in the Christian heaven and hell because that's your belief system. Not that, you know, other places don't exist. Like, the only other people you're going to find of other religions down here are people like me who like to volunteer their time because we usually have religious trauma associated with your church. How dare you? This is ridiculous. What? Lily, did you just hang up on me? I don't know. Does it sound like this? Hey, hey, excuse me. You can wait your freaking turn, princess. Okay, hey, shut up. All right, you guys still there? No, I can't wait. Yeah, I should your speakerphone. Oh, hey, Persephone. So uh, I will be consulting the sacred oracle. Everyone ready? Okay. Noodle the pug. It is a no bones day, but not in a bad way. We just need to be gentle with ourselves today. Okay. All right, and I've got a soul that I've been waiting for for a while, so I'm going to have to say goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Suzanne? Well, I see you forgot all the lessons about modesty that I taught you in youth group. Oh, no, I willfully unlearned all that shit. And plus, if you think I look hot, you should see Abaddon in those leather pants. And Astroth is fucking slaying those thigh eyes. I always wondered if you were going to be the youth group member that went to hell. That honor's all yours, hon. I live topside. I just like working down here. Any other questions? Yeah. Why am I here? Well, it's funny you ask, since I'm one of the people who nominates you to be down here. This is your actual shit list. Let's run down it. Number one, tapping your fingers at service industry people. Those white New Balance shoes and the ugly khaki pants you made your entire family wear every Sunday. This is ridiculous. There's no way that my list could possibly be that long. You picked a whole bunch of whoopsie daisies, and now you get to enjoy the bouquet. But yeah, we can skip to the good stuff if you want. All the purity culture bullshit. I was teaching you morality. No. You were teaching us shame. Case in point, girls were the only ones who were allowed to go swimming unless we had a t-shirt and shorts on over our swimsuits. And if we showed evidence of being cold, we had to get out of the pool until that evidence was gone. We can go even farther down. You compared watching an R-rated or PG-13 movie to eating a brownie with a little bit of dog poop in it. We can go down to my personal favorite and the one that hurt me the most was when you told us that we never needed to worry about getting assaulted if we were good, modest Christian girls with strong faith because God would protect us. And if we were ever assaulted, it must have been a lapse of faith on our part and when you found out that I had been assaulted you told me that I needed to pray that I would find a good Christian man who was accepting of my lapse in faith and my sexual transgressions. How else was I supposed to keep children from having lapses of faith? 
Hey, God. Finally. Yeah, she's here. Do you want me to put her in Dungeon 6 or 13 for you? Personally, I recommend 13 because it's got a lot of it. Excellent. She'll be waiting for you when you arrive. Wait, Dungeon? Yeah. You committed atrocities in his name, so he's got a bit of a bone to pick with you. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, after all, you've read the Old Testament, right? Hi, welcome to hell. Bezos? Oh, good. You know who I am. So who do I talk to about getting out of here? <sighs> you don't. In case you've forgotten, I founded Amazon. I have enough money to do whatever I want, and I want out of here. No. <laughs> it was so much fun. Okay, so I'm actually going to escort you down to our billionaire level. I'm sure you're used to hearing that. You have your own private room. Where are you going? When I buy this dump, I'm shutting it down. I want to go home. So this should look familiar to you. It's a warehouse we built specially for you. It's roughly the size of Montana, and you're going to have about 30 seconds to fill orders as they come in. We're going to give you a very special billionaire necklace that'll give you an itsy bitsy teeny weeny little massive zap if you don't fill those orders in time. What? Let's see, what else? Oh, the bathrooms are about four days walk that way, and you can only go to the bathroom on your breaks or your lunch, and if we catch you going to the bathroom anywhere else other than the bathrooms, um, we'll feed you to the hellhounds. By the time you're done regenerating from that, that should take up your lunch break, and it's right back to work. Oh, yes, I heard they finally filled up the water cooler. Yeah, they put in the filter that turns it into wine, too. Jesus, see, coming in clutch. So, like, what were you saying last time about your villain origin story? Oh, growing up religious gave me the opportunity to have a villain arc, but without any of the things like hurting innocent people or the environment, you know, like stuff that would make me feel bad. But it's like, I got to have a fall from grace. I made enemies. I discovered my own power. I can dress whoever I want and say fuck. It was amazing. I'm so proud of you. That's a lot of growth. See, my villain arc also started in church, but it ended with arson, so. So, like, what are some good tips for arson? Because I... Oh, my replacement's here. I am so sorry I'm late. The line took forever. Don't worry about it. But you, you lucky little baby shark, get to pick Bezos' work soundtrack today. <gasps> did your cell just randomly open? Sure did, but I'm not questioning it. I'm getting out of here. Well, obviously, so am I. I will be finding God, and he will be hearing about this from me. You. Hey, Linda. And Bill. And Bill. Everyone's cells opened, we're free to go. Uh, no, that's not how this works. What do you mean? It's Employee Appreciation Day. You've always worked in the service industry, you don't need to be appreciated. And that's part of why you're down here. Can I bite that one? No, it hasn't started yet. Shh, that was mine! What is going on? Oh, I told you it's Employee Appreciation Day, so uh, hold still. Or don't. Make my day. You do understand that nearly everything about you and your godless lifestyle makes it impossible for you to be loved. Linda, I want you to know that I take feral joy in being the one to tell you that it is impossible for you to make me feel bad about myself. Hmm. All things are possible through God. Yeah, well, even your idea of God is going to tell you to give this one up. <laughs> oh, really? And why is that? Because I don't like you. And therefore, your opinion of me means jack shit. What do you mean my opinion doesn't matter? How dare you? Nothing is impossible. Of course there's stuff that's impossible. You ever tried to kink shame a cat? Uh, See? It's impossible. Because I can make me feel bad about myself. Because I love myself. So my opinion matters. I have to live with this bitch my entire life. But you, your kink shaming cats, you can do it all day. It still won't keep them off the counter. Hi, welcome to hell. I'm Pastor Mark? Oh, I was hoping I'd be working when you showed up. You're the one that gave Suzanne so much trouble. You need to tell God that I'm down here. There's been a mistake. Are you telling me you don't think God's all-knowing? Well, while we're waiting for God to arrive... Mm, you don't want that to happen. While we're waiting for God to arrive, I'll hear your apology. Huh? Your apology. I think you know what for. Uh, not that it's a sin, but like kissing a girl for a free burrito? Disgusting, but no. Try again. Mm, my search history. No. Let's start with your sexual transgressions at a young age. You've got to be kidding. You do realize I have Old Testament God on speed dial. You need to apologize for the monster you became when you left the church. No, I'm not going to apologize for being a monster. No one ever apologized for deciding to turn me into one. Okay? Okay. Sky Daddy, I have one for you. Are the biblically accurate angels free? I don't know what you're looking so smug for. After all, you're summoning God's angels on my behalf.
Yeah, because you're thinking of like the pretty androgynous metrosexual looking angels. These are biblically accurate angels, okay? There's a reason they begin every conversation with be not afraid. It doesn't work, but that's what they lead with. Well, we'll see about that when they arrive, but in the meantime, I will not have you disrespecting God's name in my presence. I don't think he really has a problem with name calling. I mean, after all, Meryl Streep called him a bitch to his face on DD Poker Night. No, I I'm talking about you calling him Sky Daddy. Oh yeah, there's three of them. There's Sky Daddy, Fire Daddy, and Sea Daddy. They're the holy threesome. Who's the, who's the third one? Cthulhu? Oh good, they're here. Be very afraid. He's all yours, boys. Take your time, have fun, and don't forget to save some for the souls. Hi, welcome to hell. Please proceed to your assigned level. If you have a problem with the fact that you're down here, please remember today is not the day and I am not the one. If you want to continue to make it my problem, you can eat a bag of dick. No, don't touch me. I have been a victim. Every day of your life. I have been persecuted because of my beliefs. Oh my god, I turned on drinking with the Valkyries for this. Okay, Karen. <laughs> That explains so much, actually. Okay, so you're a hardcore evangelical nationalist, white supremacist, anti-vaxxer. See, that's what did you end, Cupcake. And you kicked your daughter out for being gay? Of course I kicked her out for being gay. I couldn't let the devil's influence into my home. Christians were already being so persecuted. What, in Ohio? The liberal agenda was everywhere. They burned down the Christmas tree in front of Fox News. Oh, no, that was real Jesus and Loki, actually. I hooked up with your daughter in a church parking lot, actually. She's very talented. Joke on that. I'm going to wait to level six. Oh, welcome to hell. This is the help desk where I might be built like a frog that stood up and put pants on, but I can still kick your ass. How may I sass you today? This is so cool. I'm so excited to be here. Okay, I just need you to tell me where to go. Sorry, I got lost. Excited? You shouldn't be here. Should you be here? I don't think I have any notes on you. This has never happened to me before. You want to be here. Oh yeah, I was like pretty sure I wasn't going to make it into heaven, so I decided to come straight down here. Um, plus I'm from Florida, so I'm used to all this already. Okay, but you're not, you're not like bad. I mean, you don't have to be down here. You can choose from multiple afterlives, like the one that Lizzo runs. Chef's kiss. Oh, well, maybe someday if that's an option, but I'm just, I'm not comfortable with like feeling like I deserve good things yet. Oh, I completely understand. It's a process we all have to go through on our own time. Um, but I don't want you to suffer while you're down here. I want you to keep healing. So do you want a job? I've been looking for a trainee. Really? I can work down here? Yeah, it's actually super fun. You get to mouth off to morons all day, plus the demons. Super hot and really polite. Oh, I'm so excited. You're going to be an amazing trainee. So, okay, um, so that's the excuses, Wall. If you hear something just spectacularly stupid, we put it up there so we can laugh at it. Wow, I only ever worked in retail and even I'm shocked. Oh, you worked in retail. That's perfect. So just everything you wanted to say to dumb customers when you were alive, you can say it now. Awesome. Right? So here's our binder with all our phone numbers and everything, but if you have a soul that's giving you a lot of trouble, call this number right here. That's my boyfriend. He's like an upper level demon. Looks really scary. Total himbo. He's such a sweetie. He'll keep an eye out for you. We can date the demons? Only if you want to. These guys are really big on consent and boundaries. No is a complete sentence with them. After all, they were the first ones to say it to God. The demons respect boundaries? Are you sure this is hell? Not for the employees. All my coworkers are really cool, actually. So, so how do I make sure I, like, don't get fired? Oh, sweetie, you're my work child. You can't get fired. Though, speaking of fire, if you're under temperature play, check out room four in the employee dungeon. I'm really impressed you're picking up this working in hell thing really fast. Really? Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, what else could I have left out? Oh, if you see a soul come through that you know died before you, don't freak out. Time isn't linear here. We're, we're dead. It doesn't matter. You get to see people we know? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, speaking from experience, it can be really cathartic. Oh, I want to introduce you to one of your coworkers. Sharky! Hi! Bite? No, sweetie, no bite, not unless she's into it. So this is Baby Shark. She runs one of the other help desks. Uh, where are you going, Sharky? I'm going to beat the shit out of Ronald Reagan. You're really cute. We should be friends. Really? Okay. Oh, that's how she gets us all. Kick him once for me, Sharky. I think this is too good of a place for me. Oh, no, baby. You're right where you need to be. You deserve good things, I promise. Now, it's orientation tradition to beat the shit out of a pedophile. Do you want to? Yeah. Great! Your form when you were punching that racist in the dick? Immaculate. Thank you! I feel kind of weird. Is this like what empowerment feels like? Yeah! See, I told you those combat lessons with the Valkyrie were gonna pay off. Oh, Lily's gonna be so proud of you. Really? Oh, I hope she's enjoying her day off. Oh, shit. Well, if it isn't the family burden, exactly where you should be. Aunt Eleanor? Are you gonna make yourself useful for once in your life and get me out of this disgusting place that I have no business being in? What are you doing, Sharky?
I'm calling mom. You're screwed. You're abusing my work child? Alright, square up, bitch. Hey kid, we got your back. She takes her role as mom friend very seriously. Oh good, someone else incompetent. I'm just trying to get answers to my valid questions. Who do you think you are that you can speak to me with that kind of attitude? Oh, I'm about to tell you a lot of things, but yeah, we can start with an introduction. I'm the one whose work child you just fucked with. I'm also the one who has angels, demons, and deities on speed dial, and they come when I call to ask for help because they like me. Oh, little girl, do you think you can intimidate me? She's pretty much running the front desk of hell, and she's literally dating a demon. I don't think your aunt has very good critical thinking skills. You guys are standing up for me. Oh, baby. Here, hug a shark. Thanks, Sharky. And another. No, I don't want to hear another word out of you. Let me tell you a secret, Cupcake. There are hells infinitely worse than this one. And guess where you're going? Yeah, now you know how powerless your victims felt. You have anything you want to add, sweetie? Eat shit, Aunt Eleanor. Are you okay? I know working at the help desk it can be so stressful, but you handled that really well. Ugh, I'm okay. I was just, I'm mad. I, like, I was doing great right up until I saw my aunt, and then I was just like, oh, my progress. No, it's okay. Just because you made a few steps back doesn't mean you can't ever move forward again. Happens to all of us. Hey, when the guy who assaulted me came through my line, I was a mess. I had to call Sharky. I couldn't work for weeks. Yeah, and when my pastor came through my line, I hid under my desk for three days. It's a true story. She even bit Lucy when he tried to check on her. Holy shit, Sharky. Okay, uh -huh. Thank you, you guys, for, for standing up for me for all of it, but I, I want to keep working. I've got all this anger. I want to take it out on somebody. All right, fuck him up, babe. Hey, little girl, is there a man I can talk to? Little girl, really? Yeah, what, are you too stupid to understand me? Nope. Hey, what's the name of that super hot demon that runs the torture chamber on level 9? It's funny you ask, because he asked me to give you his number this morning. Hi, welcome to hell. What can I help you with? Oh, hi, sweet pea. I just need to know what level I need to go to. I'm so sorry. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? It's really easy to get us confused with Pelheim. They're right back up the stairs. Get on the moving sidewalk. It'll take you right to it. So nice of you to check, sweetie, but no, I I'm actually a Christian. The nice ladies who work for death, uh, they directed a Judy to come down here, and that's my name. Oh, okay. Um, I, I know they have some interns working for them right now, um, but did they give you a reason why, why you should be down here? Uh, no, they just called my name, but don't worry about it, sweetie. I'm not mad. If God didn't want me to love my trans son, then he didn't want me up there. I would have whooped his ass. Plus, it'll be good to see my daddy down here anyway. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to run this by my work mom real fast. Just one, one sec. I should not be here. There is no reason. You allowed and encouraged the abuse of foster kids. What part of that makes you think you belong anywhere else? Hey, Lils, Lily, I need your help with something. Oh, sure thing, one sec. Hey, fuckhead, you see that one over there in the shark onesie? Why'd you send him to Sharky instead of just straight down? Oh, Sharky was a foster kid, so she's got a bone to pick with people who exploit that system. She'll fuck him up good, don't you worry. So what's up? Get him, Sharky. Uh, I've got a soul I don't think is supposed to be here. Oh, you? Okay, what's your name again? Judy. Judy. Okay, let's see. I know we're expecting Judy today, but she's a real bitch. It's not you, though. You should be topside, hon. You had an amazing life. You raised an incredible son. He will be seeing him again, but not for a while girls are so sweet. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Oh, and will you tell your sharky friend that she's got a grab and a twist? <laughs> will do. <laughs> she's great. I wish she'd been my grandma. I wonder how sharky's doing. Kneel before your heathen god. <laughs> if you ever come in here again with a goddamn opinion, I will shove it so far up your ass, you'll never see the light of it.